that fix the aerial view images uh, and historic photos for cement. First off, I'm going to play the scene just to see what is working and what is missing. So the photosphere is interactable. Uh, our tool tips are working. The compass is synchronized. The geos, uh, geographical information is showing accordingly. Uh, the compass button is working. So we are going to work on the aerial view, so this uh, is the icon to open the aerial view, let's see if it's open. So it's not opening, it's just deactivating, so we gotta come here later and fix that. The aerial view uh, is living under the top view uh, game object that we created one for each place. and we dated as August 6 when they were created. If we activate it, we're gonna see the photo is already here. Uh, Jennifer was the one who did this cemento photosphere, uh, aerial photo, and she also placed dummy balloon, uh, the balloon for the historic photos over the Lafarge uh, cemento plant. However, we don't have the labels yet, and more, uh, very likely this balloon is still using the old gallery. Uh, so let's take a look at that. So this is the old gallery. We are not using this anymore. So we will be taking care of that as well. Oh, the dummy is also not uh, in the correct place. Uh, in fact, we are here. So I'm gonna start correcting the dummy position. I'm going to select it and drag it to where it belongs. Here. Since I'm in play mode, I cannot just unplay and come back because whatever I've done here is going to be lost. So, a, a very useful tip is whenever you are adjusting things on the go, before you go back to editor mode, you should copy uh, the values you changed. For instance, I changed the position, the rect transform from the dummy. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy component. Once I copy the component, all the parameters for all these variables are saved. I can safely unclick. We can see that the dummy is here again, just like I said. But differently from now, we have copied the values from that component, this component here, the position, the rect transform. So we need to come here and paste component values. So we copied during play mode and we paste the values outside play mode and the change is done. I'm going to close this dummy here and now I'm going to start deleting stuff. So the black shader is fine, we need the black shader. However, this historic photo, close panel, game objects, all of them are done. So I'm deleting that. Instead of recreating everything from scratch, I'm going to uh, copy everything from Thomas Iron, which is a very uh, complete scene for our current choices. So in order to do that, Unity allows us to open scenes together concomitantly. So you need to come uh, to the scenes folder and then I'm going to open uh, our Thomas Iron work but instead of double clicking it as we usually do to open a scene I'm going to uh, right click it and say select open scene additive so I'm adding the scene over the other scene that I have why am I doing that because then I can open the screen space canvas of Thomas Iron work and I can copy everything from its top view. If I activate this top view, you see that there are lots of things going on there. And the black shader also has uh, 
the historic photos thumbnail uh, panel that we created. So I'm going to copy the entire black shader. No, not the entire black shader, just the thumbnails and the image one. Copy. I don't know how many images we have in Cementum, so just one is fine. I'm gonna come back to Cementum and in the black shader I'm gonna paste it. So it seems it doesn't paste within uh, as a child of the game object you selected. So you still have to drag it to become a, a child of the game object you want. In our case, we want it to the photos as well as the, the thumbnail uh, historic photos become a child, a children of the black shader. Another thing that I'm gonna copy and paste is the labels game object from Thomas Iron and paste here. Make it a child of top view cement. Okay, it's fine. So I guess I'm done with Thomas Iron copying from Thomas. So I'm just gonna click right button and remove scene. I'm not gonna save anything because I don't wanna mess with it. And now let's work only on cement. So the balloons there, labels are here. But labels need to be above black shader so it, it stays out uh, behind in the 2D uh, organization. The dummy also needs to go there. So these photos are not from uh, Cementum, they are from Thomas Iron. Uh, we, will need, we will need to create uh, a, a new set of thumbnails photos. But before I work with the photos and the black shader, I'm going to be uh, correcting the labels. So we do have the Lehigh River, and it's here. Let me access my uh, reference image that we had from our meeting. So these are the elements I have to include. So instead of Katasakwa, this is going to be Northampton. To just, uh, I need to adjust the shading, so I'm going to remove Northampton from its child just to adjust the shading like this. Now make Northampton become a child again. There it is. We also need to label where cementum is, so this is going to be the one. I'm going to copy cementum because I'm going to be using it here and here. Again, because the size changed, I'm going to adjust the black shader behind it. I cannot just, uh, adjust it like it is now because Cementum text, uh, sorry, uh, yes, Cementum text is a child of the Cementum black shader. So if I adjust Cementum black shader, it's going to stretch, shrink the text as well. So this is not what we want. Uh, I'm going then to unparent Cementum image. Oh, I'm also going to centralize and put in the middle. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna put Cementum back as a child of Cementum image so I can drag everything together. Now we need one label for 
a hard white hull plant. I don't know if the contrast is good, but I'm gonna leave it like this and the group is going to decide in our next meeting whether I should leave like this or change the font or even add this black shader behind it. So this is going to be a large label. And we need another one for the query, query. So control D, query, query. Oops. The last thing I need to add is the number of the state route 329 so I'll have to create this one here actually I am going to create it on paint 3d So Unity likes to have uh, images multiple of four so it can compress automatically. I won't oppose to that and since I'm creating the picture I'm going to create it like this right away. And this is not what I was looking for. I was looking for a capsule shape kind of like. Not. No. Okay, I'll need to create it on PowerPoint. This one here. I'm gonna copy the reference picture just for me. Can look so that's weird. Why don't they have? Oh. So the background is white. Shape outline slightly thicker. No shame.
Okay, I'm losing time here. I'm losing a, li a library, like a library, whatever, how do you pronounce that? You pronounce that. So. Oh, Unity is gonna complain because it's not a multiple of four. So I'm gonna click with the right button, show in exporter. Then I'm gonna click with the right button and edit with Paint 3D. So I have better control of the size of the canvas. I believe 48 and 44 are multiples of 4. So I'm gonna save overriding the previous one. And let's see if, yes, now you need to stop to complain. Now we can create an image in the label section. And I'm gonna drag the 3 to 9 there. I'm gonna put preserve aspect. Fair enough, they can give us better feedback during the meeting. Saving. So the labels are done. The balloon is in the correct place. The dummy is showing up there. Now we need to move forward to adjusting the black shader and the pictures. So I need to check how many pictures we have for Cemento in our reference file, which is here. So we have one, two, only. So I'll probably make two rectangular photos. I'll open I'll open PowerPoint to do so. I'm gonna keep this slide here because I'll, I'll likely have to create other numbers like this for other photospheres. So let's start with the black and white picture. I'm gonna use this uh, grid uh, guiding uh, lines that I created to help me. Create a somewhat uh, symmetric or well sized rectangle image.
want to select both, group them, click with the right button, save as picture, send it to um, I guess I have to remove this image so the no I have to remove the colors put the black and white yes save this picture cementum what is that cementum thumbnails Very likely, cement and thumbnails will not be <laughs> the correct dimensions. So we will have to go to paint 3D triggers. Let's see. Click with the right button, show in Explorer. Click with the right button, edit with Paint 3D. There seems to have like a white space here, so I'm gonna crop it. Bye. It's compressed. Thumbnails needs to be St. Thomas. And in this case, we'll have only two. And just remember which ones they are. similar to one but there's an added effect and three is similar to two okay the simplest and, uh, effect we are removing the fill of this uh, orange overlaying sprite this one 
we are. Okay, we are replacing one sprite by the other one. However, this other one is not fitting well. So what's going on here? On pointer enter sprite. So highlight one when we click we want to open image one name object set active not true and highlight two we want to add a new event here on click and we're gonna drag image to here game object set active true let's test it Let's replace the images. Multimedia. Media gallery. No. Media gallery. Yes. So it's similar. No. Cemental 1A and Cemental 1B. Okay, let's go back there. Image 1, Cemental 1A. Image 2, Cemental 1B. And now I'm gonna add the proper captions. Or 
Yes, It's and just renaming for the sake of organization and not being lost. I'm gonna check what's going on here. I don't know why it's colored again. This is very weird. Oh, it's because I put cement on one in the highlight. There should be nothing here. Save. Testing again. I don't know if they will want us to stretch this one a little bit. Then do it again. So when we close, we should go back to the map. It's not working. So the close button, when we click, we need to close black shader. And we need to activate the dummy. Test. Okay, it's working now. Final adjustment is we need to make this. Uh, hyperlink of the camera open this top view so the camera stays in the workspace view because we put it in the 3d environment so we get a photo button and on click we open top view cement view let's test So I'll finish this video and until the next one.